Welcome, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. You know, I just love springtime, you know, the nice cool weather. And uh, so anyhow, I'm up here at my lean-to greenhouse. And I just finished planting some cabbage in there and some Pac-Man broccoli. And so I need to be watering these every couple days and it's just too far to bring a watering can up here. And so what I wanted to do today is share with you some tips and ideas on my remote watering system for my lean-to greenhouse. So I'm really glad you could join me today. So as you can see, I have my broccoli and my cabbage plants in there, and I still have some some uh, curly leaf kale in here left over from last fall, and so they overwintered really nice inside the greenhouse. So let's go take a look at some of my 55-gallon drums that I use for part of my remote watering system. So I'm on the other side of the lean-to greenhouse, and you can see here that I have two 55-gallon these poly drums that I've used before to make my indestructible raised garden beds. And so I have two of them up here and I cut two six inch holes in the lid for my pump. So what I have here is a hose and it goes all the way down to my pond, which is about 300 feet away. And so in this lean to greenhouse is probably two, 300 feet away from my main house. And it's just too far to run a water line out here. And so what I do, Every early season, early spring, as I fill these two drums up with water from my pond using a utility pump. And let's go down to the pond and take a look and see how I do that. So I'm down here at my pond and you can see the utility pump with the hose attached to it on the lawn. And I have an extension cord that I'm going to plug it into. But let me just give you an idea for distance where the pond is located in re relation to the greenhouse. So I'm just going to pan around here. And you can see the greenhouse up there. And so I'm running a hose all the way up there to fill those two barrels. So what I'm going to do is plug it into the, the electrical cord. And uh, you can hear it running. And so I know I have power there. But this is a, a Wayne submersible utility pump. And Wayne is a really good pump, something I would... Some type, the type of pump that I would recommend for you to buy. They've been making pumps for years. And so I'm simply going to lower this into the pond. So I'm going to pick up the pump by the handle and the hose and then just gently lower it here into the water. Making sure it's in about a couple feet of water. And then I'm simply going to plug it in. And so that's going to transfer water from the, uh, obviously from the pond up to the remote greenhouse there, which is part of my watering system. And so I'll meet you back up there. So anyhow, it took a few minutes once I plugged it in and put the pump in the pond for the hose to fill and start to come out. And so it's probably going to take a good hour, I would say, to fill both these barrels. but. You know, both, both of these barrels end up supplying the water for this greenhouse for most of the summer. And so uh, I think it really works out really nice and efficient and easy. And so what I'm going to do is fill this barrel some and then I'm going to end up dropping this pump into the, this barrel and show you how I water then the indoor plants that are inside the greenhouse. So anyhow, the, the barrel has enough water in it right now, and so what I'm using here is a little giant water wizard utility pump. And so I'm going to lower this into the barrel carefully, and then plug it in, and then I'll meet you inside the greenhouse and show you how nice this little pump delivers water to the hose nozzle. So I plugged the pump in, you can maybe, maybe you can hear it running, but 
Anyhow, at the end of the hose here, I have a hose adapter. And so what's nice about this is that you can open it full, full bore if there was any debris in the water. You know, that would, this way you don't have to worry about clogging any orifices. So right now I'm just going to open up this little valve here and you can see the water start to spray out of here. And I only have this open a little, little, little bit. I can open up all the way here. And you can just see how nice and forceful this water comes out. And so for me, again, this really works out nice uh, as far as delivering water to these plants that are inside my remote greenhouse. And so it does a really nice job of just delivering the water. Again, especially this time of year, you know, when it's still frost out there, with this type of remote watering system, I don't have to be able to worry about any type of pipes freezing. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today up here at my lean-to greenhouse, and I hope this remote watering system might give you some ideas for your own garden. So it is a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. I just love the springtime and you know it's just wonderful to be able to garden. I'm sure if you're a gardener you enjoy it yourself but you know it's just nice spending time out in the garden. It's nice and relaxing and getting away from the busyness of life. So anyhow I just want to thank you for joining me today. So until next time this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.